Hello YouTube, um, today I'm going to show you how you can change your oil and oil filter on Toyota Yaris at home. So safety first, make sure the car is properly secure on jack stands. Use the proper jack stand and that's the way you secure it properly like that on the chassis rails. Same on the other side. There you go. Check your car, make sure that everything is nice and secure. There are chances when you shake that if you see the jack stand are moving, so don't go under the car, just secure them properly. So always safety first. Now we're gonna open the bonnet. Which is this latch here. Pull. Slide the lever on the side, lift it up. And now that is the rod to secure the bonnet up. Okay, so bonnet is secure, it's not gonna fall on the head. Now unscrew the cap for the proper flow of oil. Put it on the side. And now we're ready to drain the oil. So the tool we need to drain the oil and change your oil filter is the oil filter remover tool. It comes in different styles as well, so I'm using this one. Extension, a ratchet, and a 14 mil socket on it. And a pan to catch the oil. Alright, so we're under the car. Alright, so we're under the car now. So this is the oil filter here. And that's the drain plug. Oh, you know, let me see. Sorry, it's a bit dark here. All right, so that's the drain plug. It's a 14 mil socket head for the drain plug. And it's easy to, okay. So when you're tying it back up, you have to be very careful. Don't tie it too much because the thread can be damaged. Okay, so I'm gonna drain the oil now. Lift the pan up. There we go. Now it is a good idea when you're draining the plug, uh, draining the oil, is also to change. the sump gasket or oil whatever you want to call or some plug seal up to you so i'm gonna go get a new one okay so i got my new sump plug washer here these ones are the fabric one so Put it on the sun plug nice and easy and now we're ready to put the plug back in so when you're putting the plug back in make sure the plug goes in nice and easy it's not if you if you have to put too much force to just spin it with your finger which means the threads are not good so the plug is in wipe the oil 14 little socket and just tight this don't need to be too much tight just nice and easy and when it's top it's a little bit more force and that's it and now we're ready to drain the oil filter okay so remove to remove the filter i'm going to use my tool put that one here So what you need to do is you just put it around the footer here, hold it with the other hand, and then once it's grabbed, it should be easy to come off. Come on. 
Hold. There we go. Alright, have your pan ready. Okay, as soon as you lose the fruit, uh, you're gonna start really dripping oil as well. Like that. So when you're putting a new filter in, it's a good idea that you put a little bit of oil around this, the o-ring here. So I'm going to put oil around here. Okay, that one is ready to go in now. We'll take off the old one. Nice and easy. Now, with the rag, just wipe the the area around the housing. Make sure there is no dirt or anything on it. If you have that dirt left on it, there are chances that it's gonna start leaking oil. So make sure it's nice and clean. All right. So to put that new oil filter, you don't need a tool. All you need to do is with your hand. And when as you can see I was just I'm just using one hand to tie this. So there you go. Keep spinning until it stops. That's it. That's all you need to do. Don't need to use a tool to tie this one again or don't need to you know you know, put too much force to tight, it doesn't need it. Alright, now we're ready to pour the engine oil. This car will take roughly around 4 liters, but I'll start with 3.5. Just go nice and easy, slowly, make sure it's not overflowing. Slowly, gently. Alright. Put the cap back on. Start the car until the oil pressure light on the dash goes off and then we need to lower the car back to the, uh, take the jack out, we need to lower back on a normal flat surface to check the oil level. Alright, so I removed the jack, the car is on the level of the floor again to check the oil level. So this dipstick here, get a rag, wipe it and dip it in again. Okay, that's perfect. So as you can see here, my, well, my oil level is here, which is the maximum mark. That's what you want. You don't want higher, you don't want lower. If it's lower, just top it up a little bit more, slowly by slowly. So I, I added almost a full liter of oil. Yeah, that's how you change your oil and your oil filter in Toyota Yaris. This is pretty much the same procedure for most of the small Toyotas. Camry, Corolla, maybe diff just a different oil filter. But the the process is the same. Alright, thanks for watching.
of my video how to doing a DIY service if you guys please subscribe to my channel to get more and more updates thanks for watching